friends welcome back or welcome to our channel it's serena from the falco family and today we're going to talk about curriculum okay schedule situation anyway I have two videos on curriculum talks all about how I feel about curriculum they're older videos I'll link them below um, but basically they walk you through exactly how I've worked myself through curriculum and wrapped my mind around it since the beginning and nothing has changed or we've made our way to a ninth grade freshman year in high school you guys I'm just gonna go ahead and start here and show you kind of what we have using as our spine um, for my high schooler my freshman's ninth grade year so first i'll start with bible that's what we start our day with we are doing somewhat of an old testament survey so my goal for him for this year is to begin to work his way through the old testament um so we are just starting from genesis and reading our way through i do have several resources uh, that i'm going to add to it but our main source of curriculum here is going to be his bible so we have our collection of children's bibles um that they have had up until this point and ninth grade is going to be the point where i get them their first young adult bible i chose that he reads truth um it's christian standard version um it has lots of wonderful graphics and things that i think will really help him work his way uh, through the Bible and gain understanding. He has a really good temperament for working his way through text that he doesn't quite gather a complete grasp of. I think that is part of being a reader. You don't have to understand everything completely uh, to be able to make your way through um, text. And so I think that's really helping him to work his way from Genesis and just keep chugging along. Um, I do have plenty of other resources that we're using to help him when he has questions or when he's getting stuck or when he's not understanding something, you know, quite as much as he would like to. But our goal is just to work our way through the Old Testament and understand. Um, in addition to that, I also have the second Bible in his collection. It's this personal size. Um, Bible, this is an ESV from Crossway. It's just nice and feels good in your hands. Um, this one, I wanted to have him to have something that's very, very easy for him to carry along. And so these are the two that he is going to begin his Old Testament survey and then move into the New Testament survey and beyond. We are just getting into all things Bible study and understanding the text and um, just really developing a practice of being in the text on a daily basis. So that is for Bible. Next up, we'll go into history, right? So for history, we... I guess I could use another video to talk about how I wrap my mind around um, building high school curriculum. But basically, I think of it four years as a whole. I think it is easier for us, for me, to wrap my mind around it when I think of it that way. Um, I have done my due diligence in understanding how I want to set him up. Um, as far as his transcript is concerned. So it's very much giving college prep in that sense. However, uh, we are not a college prep family. That is not my main focus in our homeschool lives. However, I do want to make sure that they're nice and prepared if they choose to go that route. So I build uh, a lot of our core curriculum surrounding what those things are that are going to be required for high school diploma and college entry but this is what we are starting with for history uh, I have a four-year approach which includes what I would like to think would be American history as a whole instead of chopped up into bits and pieces however our resources are in bits and pieces and so we just add them into what I have set as my core for high school history 
if that makes any sense. So we're kind of starting with American history, U.S. history, and uh, these are the four books that I have chosen as a spine for beginning that journey. These are the books. I don't think there's any like right way to do it. I think we just have to start somewhere and just refine and add to and take away along the way. So I have Howard Zinn's Young People's History of the United States. And then the next one I have is A Different Mirror, which is for young people, A History of Multicultural America, An Indigenous People's History of the United States for Young People by Roxanne Dumbar-Ortiz. And then the next one is not, it's not adapted for young people. So we, um, I kind of started off with this one and I'm making uh, annotations and notes to kind of adapt it as much as I can, even though he can definitely handle it. But this one is Unruly Americans and the Origin of the Constitution by Woody Holton. My thought process here is basically to use these as a spine to um, grow uh, different branches and go off on different tangents and add in different resources to help us learn along the way. Next up, we have our spine for science. So um, as part of keeping with the requirements for high school, he is doing this year biology. Um, and we chose to use Apology is Exploring Creation with Biology because uh, we use their physical creation physical science um, last year and he was fine with it. it. It flowed well and it hit on topics that I liked it to hit. Um, I really like uh, the note taking approach that it takes. So we're just gonna stick with it and ride it out for now. Um, we've always done our own thing when it comes to math. Uh, one year we did use teaching textbooks and they enjoyed that, but a year was all they really wanted to take. So we've always done our own thing, uh, but this time around we just wanted, with a lot of the changes that were we were going through, um, he wanted something that was nice and to the point. We got Saxon 8-7, this was last year, and because we don't do it, you know, cover to cover as it's designed, um, we just took our time and worked through it slowly and then we added in other things and took our precious time. Um, because of that, I was probably halfway through by the time he got to the end of his 8th grade year and there was no way I was going to purchase an additional curriculum you know, just for him to start the next level. So we just chose to stick with this one and then expand upon it. So that's why he is still working through pre-algebra with eight and eight, seven. Um, our, my main goal for his math this year, in addition to just continuing to work through algebra and keep it moving, is consumer math, like a financial um, a personal finance course. As we are working our way through finance books and other uh, skills and activities. We're focusing on income, expenses, budgeting, um, and investing. And so we just are making our way through one book at a time and pulling out different activities and lessons along the way. So we are currently getting ready to start Smart Money, a practical guide to personal finance for teens and young adults. I'm looking forward to having a stack of personal finance books that we felt like were really helpful um, along the way and some of the activities and things that we do to help him give him more hands-on experience with the concepts and ideals and get it working for him now um, in building his financial portfolio. So it's definitely something that we knew nothing about <laughs> at that high school stage. And I really want him to have a nice secure handle on the place and position of money in his life. For language arts, the we this is the first time we um, tried using uh, some of this curriculum because we really just don't use a lot of um, open and go type of curriculum. But so far, so good. This is Oak Meadows Composition 1 and Composition 2, the writer's craft and um, creative writing and 
nonfiction, their high school course. Um, so far, what I have found about Oak Meadow that I really like is the uh, plethora of ideas and tangents that you can kind of um, go on with this curriculum. I like the flexibility of it um, and the fact that it really stirs up ideas um, and gives a lot of ownership um, as far as the different choices um, and pathways they can go down uh, based on what they're interested in. Uh, my main goal for him in language arts is to build his writing portfolio like um, a lot more solidified. We He has written all along the way but now I want to keep a nice um, handle on the growth of his portfolio. Uh, so that is what we are using to help him build his writer's portfolio um, in this season. Health nutrition exercise that is another massive thing that i feel like we learned nothing of what we should have learned about in um our high school days and that's something i want to do much differently uh with the kids in our home school actually my degree is in human nutrition foods and exercise and that tells you a lot because i feel like i know nothing and yet you know i am degreed in that area so um Take with that what you, whatever you would like, okay? <laughs> so uh, this is a big deal for us and a very small portion um, of credit is required for health, but for us, it's going to be a bigger um, situation. So uh, I did get Integrated Health and Fitness, the high school course from Oak Meadow. We are beginning to work our way through and just kind of adapt it to help us build how we are gonna, what we are gonna consider as curriculum for the four years of health. And then the next two things I have that I'm kind of using as a spine, um, and I don't completely know what to call it. Two things that I'm using somewhat as a spine for this. I know Susan Cain's Quiet Power. My baby is an introvert like this mama so um that is one of the things i really want us to have a good handle on and it's gonna i feel like it's gonna help us understand everything else um coming from this place so he's got quiet power the secret strength of introverted kids and then the next one that we started with is temple grandin's um calling all minds how to think and create like an inventor so i do this often just use and short and sweet simple book that we enjoy as a spine um to expand it and create curriculum out of it so that is kind of what these two are doing for us right now these are the um core pieces that we're using as somewhat of spine curriculum for his ninth grade year um of course there's lots of other things that we add to it other resources other books lots of um, online materials, uh, master class, um, just so much stuff that we use to add in and add on to accomplish the goals that we have set um, in the curriculum that we built, but this is where we started. Short and sweet beginning to our curriculum series. So thanks for hanging out while I walk my way through the curriculum that we're using for his ninth grade freshman year in homeschool high school. <laughs> Thank you guys for cheering me on as I head back into making videos again in this season. We love you guys so much and we will see you in the